Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to have a brief market recap and talk about the upcoming U.S. purchasing managers indices, Canada's monthly GDP figure, and New Zealand's unemployment data. This is Marshall Gittler at an investment research here at FX Primus, bringing you my North American opening market comment. Well, the dollar is a bit weaker at midday in Europe Tuesday. The big gainer of the morning was the Swiss franc, which rose sharply after the Swiss manufacturing PMI came out considerably stronger than expected. The UK manufacturing PMI, on the other hand, was pretty much as expected, a little bit lower actually, and the pound was little changed. Meanwhile, the yen continued to weaken as the market di further digested the Bank of Japan's downgrade of the nation's inflation outlook. When the US day gets started, we'll get two sets of purchasing managers manufacturing purchase PMIs for the US the final market manufacturing PMI, and the more widely watched Institute of Supply Management, ISM manufacturing PMI. Now, the ISM manufacturing index is forecast to be up only 0.2 point. Uh, that would contrast with the sharp 1.7 point jump in the market manufacturing PMI during the month. Now, in theory, a uh, weak growth in the ISM index might be negative for the dollar. However, the closely watched ISM prices paid index, this is one of the subcomponents of the ISM index, the prices paid index, is forecast to rise as well. This index is a good indicator of inflation trends. If that turns up, then even if the economy slows somewhat or if growth slows, uh, the Fed can still go ahead and tighten policy. That would make the ISM index positive for the dollar. There's likely to be a focus in the afternoon on Canada as the country's monthly GDP is released. The forecast 0.2% month-on-month growth would be a return to the trend rate that uh, was prevalent at the beginning of the year, as you can see from the graph, and so could be neutral or even slightly positive for the Canadian dollar. Later in the day, however, Bank of Canada Governor Polos is scheduled to speak. He's generally taken a dovish tone recently, so his speech may put some downward pressure on the currency. Finally, overnight, New Zealand announces its unemployment rate. It's expected to remain unchanged at 5.1%. That's near the post-crisis low, which has been 5.0%. Now, that's pretty good, considering the large inward migration into New Zealand that there's been. So it could prove positive for the New Zealand dollar. This is Marshall Gittler, head of investment research at FX Primus. Get more market insights on our education pages and turn your trading ideas into action with FX Primus, the safest place to trade.